and welcome into the 3D! Today we are going to learn how to change the pivot point of an object in Autodesk Maya. Before we start, please check out my YouTube channel, I'm sure you will find something interesting. First we need an object. If you already have, select the object and this one is the object's pivot point. So if I rotate this object, it will rotate from that point, it will move from that point and it will scale it from that point. So it means pivot point is the control center of an object. Editing pivot point is too simple. Press W to get the move tool, which is this one. So if I move it right now, it will move the object. I will press Ctrl and Z to go back and I will press D on my keyboard, which will enable the edit pivot point mod. If I press D again, it will disable it. And if I press D again, it will enable the edit pure point mod. Now, if I use the move tool, the values are not changing, object is not moving, but we are editing the pure point of the object. So, if I place my pure point on this location, it will rotate from this point, it will scale from this point, and it will also move from this point. Great, let's go back and usually we want to relocate the pivot point of an object to the bottom of the mesh so it will make it easier to place on any kind of surface. Let's get the move tool by pressing W then press D to enable pivot point mod. Since we will snap this to the bottom of this mesh we should enable the snap the point tool. Then I will hold the pivot point from the Y axis which is the green arrow when you are moving down, make sure the cursor is on one of the bottom vertices. If you don't have any vertices, Maya cannot know where to snap the pure point. In this case, I need to move my cursor to one of these points. So if I go back to the object mode, I should be able to rotate it, scale it or move the object from this point. Once you finish editing, Go under Modify, freeze the transformations, and then go under Edit, Delete by Type, and delete the history of the object. So that was it for today, and this object is ready to export. I hope you liked the tutorial, and if you want to see more content on this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.